Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, a little out of breath. Been uh, out here working on the truck for most of the day. Um, we're gonna do another episode here. So you may notice I have the green drain pan down there, and the green one is for coolant. We are going to swap out the radiator in this. This is the factory 4.3 liter V6 radiator, uh, at least that's what I was told, with a single, looks like it says torque flow electric fan. Um, we have a vehicle specific radiator that is uh, it's made for a V8 conversion S10. It's a three core radiator and uh, hopefully it will set in a little bit further so we can actually have the fans on the inside. I would much rather have the fans on the inside as pullers, pulling air through the radiator. Um, I'm not really going to get into that debate because I know that's a big debate with you know pullers versus pushers and all that stuff. Back when my father was alive and we had the race shop and all that, uh, anytime we had room and anytime we could, we would always run on the inside. We would run you know puller fans that pulled air through the radiator instead of having them on the outside pushing air through the radiator. It just, it always seems to be more efficient. And uh, just an example of it is, you know, look at pretty much any factory vehicle that comes equipped with electric fans. More often than not, you're gonna find them as a puller configuration on the inside of the radiator. So hopefully we have enough room for that. Um, this isn't gonna be, you know, a step-by-step how-to or anything. I'm just gonna kind of set the camera up and uh, get the job done, basically. Yeah. I don't think we came close to the drain fan. The drain plug does not appear to be working correctly. It's not actually coming out the bottom, it's just coming out around it. So I have to see if I can drain it real slow. I'm gonna shut the camera off now. I think uh, you guys have probably seen enough of this. Hopefully this isn't too weird of an angle for you guys. It's just looking straight down. I've got it clamped to the hood. Um, radiator seems to be done puking. have held a radiator in with zip ties before so the people that haven't seen that it's done trust me people do it this is our new radiator really good looking radiator can see how wide that is compared to what came out of it. So in uh, usual fashion things didn't go as planned and I ran into quite a few issues installing this new radiator. But I have it installed. If you can see in here, you can see the new radiator here. But you can also see an external trans cooler because of some of the issues. Let me open up the hood and show you. See my temporary zip tie that's just kind of holding it in place. From this angle I know it looks like the water pump is hitting the fans but it's not. It is really close but there is room. You can see that I've got dual cooling fans. The new radiator I had to get a different hose for the bottom and it had different fittings for the trans cooler so I cut my lines and ran some rubber lines to the new fittings they supplied and I put those in and they were leaking so I tightened them up a little bit 
and they would leak, tighten them up a little bit, and they would leak. And then they just snapped off. So I just went to AutoZone and got a little inexpensive trans cooler and ran lines to it. A couple relays over here and a fan controller. This tells the fan, you know, when to come on. I've got it set to come on right around 205, maybe 200 degrees. It's not an exact science because it doesn't have any markings. You just got to sit there and turn it until you get it where you want it. But it does keep everything cool. The fans kick on and off like they should, so this can actually set and idle. I had it sitting here and idling for like half an hour. I did have to adapt the heater core hose. It takes a smaller heater core hose than the factory does, so I had to adapt that. So the listing that I bought this under said that it was a direct swap for a V8 S10. Um, well, it's not. You have to do quite a bit to change it. I've got to fix my wiring down there. I've got each fan ran off of its own relay and uh, Deutsch connectors, so they're waterproof. I had everything zip-tied, but I had to do some troubleshooting, and I forgot to zip-tie those back. Sorry, guys, that I missed pretty much the whole install. But there's a lot more to come on this project. So if you came across this and you're new to the channel or you're not a subscriber, make sure to go into my channel and check out a couple other videos. I've got all kinds of different stuff in there. If you find one that you like, hit the like button. If you have something to say, leave it down in the comments. And if you find a couple videos that you like, don't forget to subscribe to my channel.